Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we will see the smallest and the largest star in the universe with their habitable zone. So let's get started. So first of all we have this GJ1220. This star has the radius of equal to 1.07 earth and this is really a small star. This is a white dwarf and this is his habitable zone as you guys can see here. And now we are going to add, okay let me uh, turn off the grid. These are actually kind of like making the, some weird look there, okay. Now I am going to add the star, one more star here. And this is WD, now this star is the uh, WD 11465. This star has wait, wait. This star has the radius of 1.09 equal to Earth. Okay, why the habitable zone is smaller of this one man star here? As you guys can see here, the radius of the star is 1.2 1.2 equal Earth. This star is larger than these two stars, but why the radius of this, uh, why the habitable zone is so small? This is, okay, okay, so the temperature of this star is 8064 8, Kelvin and the temperature of this star is 6117 Kelvin so this star temperature is less than this so that's why its habitable zone is also smaller okay we got it the Proxima Centauri of course now we are going to add this Proxima Centauri here and the radius of the Proxima Centauri is equal to 1.4 Jupiter yeah I'm going to add this Barnard star now as you can see guys here the radius of the Barnett star is equal to 1.95 Jupiter it's almost in the size of the double of the Jupiter and the temperature of the star is 3165 Kel uh, Kelvin let's change the interval degree Celsius we can understand better than the Kel Kelvin and as you can see guys just look at how far we have actually already we come we start from here the smallest star and these yeah and here we are now and the radius of the wolf 1061 is equal to 2.59 jupiter and the temperature of the star is 3103 degrees celsius okay Let's keep adding the star here. Yeah, this star EV EV. I don't. I I can't uh, pronounce the name of this EV Lacret. I think Lacret or whatever the name of the star is. I'm sorry. So this this star has the radius of 3.5 uh, 3.58 equal to Jupiter, and its temperature in the Celsius is 3,300. 18 degrees Celsius and now the things going to, to be changed here now and this is our own star our Sun here as you guys can see here of course the radius of the Sun is equal to one Sun <laughs> so this is a big different here as you guys can see here we start from there and we came so far and there is our sun and we are keep getting adding more star and star yes this is the big the this is the biggest this is the big star than the our sun i'm sorry again for my english this is altair and the radius of this altair is equal to 1.80 sun and the temperature of this altair is in degree celsius is 7543 degrees Celsius. Krenner. Oh my god, this is really big star here. And the radius of this star is 7.30 uh, 
equal sun and the temperature of the star is 15368 degrees celsius now this is interesting this is interesting this star has the radius of like equal to 12.2 radius of the sun but the temperature of the star is only 4638 degrees celsius so that's why its habitable zone is so small because of its low temperature but its radius is 12 architrus what the hell <laughs> okay this star has the radius of 25.7 equal sun but the temperature of the star is just only 390 300 oh sorry 3989 degrees celsius but its radius is like 25 more than the sun i think this polar star is a really big star here as you can see and the radius of this polar is um we have to convert into the solar radius actually it is the 46 times larger than our sun and the temperature of the star is just only 5753 degrees celsius this star here this is andres and just look at the size of the star and the habitable zone of the star is this star is, uh, let me convert into the solar radius, this star is 883 equal to sun, the radius of the sun is, it's 883 times larger than our own sun. Uh, UI Canis Majoris, uh, Majoris, yes, UI Canis Majoris. Just look at this star here, this is really, really big star. And the radius of this star is 1420 equal to sun. This star is 1420 time larger than our own sun. And now <clears throat> the famous name, of course, the UI Scutai. <laughs> There's the UI Scutai here. This is a famous name. In the universe everybody knows about this guy here ah uh, wait 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 i'm just forget about one big guy let me delete this ui scutai from this i completely i'm sorry i completely forget about that common name here in the universe and everyone know about this star here the beetle juice oh wow um the radius is great of the beetle juice but i'm sure that yeah the temperature of the beetle juice is just 2410 degrees celsius that's why its habitable zone is also so small <laughs> oh this is in the category of i think red dwarf uh, no red giant star i think the beetle juice okay i'm going to add now the famous name ui scutai of course like the UI Scutai and the radius of course the US Scutai we know 1700 and 1708 equal sun and now the biggest star in the universe so far the Stephenson 218 of course this is the Stephenson 218 and this is the one of the biggest star ever discovered by the scientist in the universe and its radius is equal to 2150 sun but the temperature of this star is only 5449 degrees celsius so that's it guys these are the smallest and the biggest star in this game this game has so where we start from let's start from the first star here so we start from this and there we go so this is the biggest star here 
and for your scale management management uh, for your scale um, management I'm going to show let me so this is our solar system guys as you can guys can see here and I'm going to add the steps to 18 here uh, look at this steps to 18 <laughs> This is how large this Stephen 218 is actually. <laughs> well, look at how large this is. It's engulfed the Jupiter and everything. Oh my God! <laughs> Inner solar system is dead, and this is really a big star here. So, guys, I hope you enjoy the video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you very much.